Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Okay, we've got two coasters coming at you this week, and the first one I'm going to do is the one that was requested by Potato Chip, and Potato Chip wanted a present coaster. So I bought this not that long ago, this square silicone mold. I haven't used it yet, so we're going to use that for Potato Chip's present coaster. And we're going to go with a purple present. I have mixed my Easy Cast. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, holiday presents need glitter. And I have this purple chunky glitter. You can go red, you can go green, you could go any color you want. So I'm going to dump a bunch in here. Don't be shy. I just finished some online Christmas shopping and I'm half in my pajamas. And I have about two ounces. I haven't tried this before, so I don't know how many ounces um, would work for this. So I thought I'd just go on the safe side and go two ounces. I'm going to pour it right in here. It's a little hard to see because the sides are so high. Okay, there it is, and I will take a lighter and pop any of the bubbles. All right, so I've mixed some more Easy Cast, and this time this coaster is a, the request by Rachel Morse, and it's a snowman in the snow. So I thought we would do a background of a light blue. So I'm going to have this kind of a blue, kind of gray background. I have some dark blue glitter and then some silver glitter. I want it to have kind of a wintry background feel. And I'm using only fine glitter on this one. All right, I'm going to pour it in. All right, and then we'll take our lighter and we'll hit it to pop any bubbles. And we'll let these sit overnight and then I will come back. The resin has cured and now I'm back and I have some acrylic paint, just plain acrylic paint, on my paintbrush. And I am not an artist. So if you think you can't do this, you can. If I can, you can. I'm going to start just kind of creating the snow base. Because remember, this is a snowman in the snow. Okay, so I kind of have the base done. And this might take two coats, so just kind of plan on that. And then I'm going to start building up the snowman right smack in the middle. And all I'm doing is dabbing. I'm not making any um, crazy painting strokes or anything. Just really easy, easy, easy. That's all I know how to do. let that kind of dry. With the same brush I'm going to make some snow flakes. They can be varying sizes. Alright I'm gonna let that dry. So now I can pull out this one and here it is nice and square and purple and super shiny I have this narrow ribbon okay so I've trimmed it a little bit longer than I need and I'm going to tack it down with my super glue because it dries quickly try to get it as centered as you can right away okay so I have it there and I'm going to tack it in the middle and the other end but I'm going to let that first one dry first. And I did get some glue on there, so I just added two more on the other, on either side to kind of give it a, a wider band. So I'm going to take the bottom part of what I, well, what I consider the bottom part and pull it down and glue it in place. All right, so I have the glue on here and I pulled it tight and I'm going to hold it until it dries. So now what I need to do on this one is I need to add a layer of um, resin on top of this so that this will be embedded into it. I'm going to put another layer of white on here. I can see that some of the background colors starting to shine through as it's drying so I'm just going to start putting some more back on there. Alright now I'm going to take a little bit of black on here just like this and I'm going to dip it back in the white. I'm going to try to mix them a little bit. I want a very light gray and for that I'm just going to kind of go underneath 
the snowman, I'm just trying to, the different sections, just the head and that midsection, just to give them a little bit of definition. And if you think it's too dark, take a little more white and go over it. It's just supposed to be a shadow. The white is still drawing, but I can put the, the arms on already. And I have some brown. And I'm using a skewer stick because that's going to give me the most control over my lines. They shouldn't be even and they shouldn't be perfect because remember some kids just came along and, and crammed these branches into the side of the snowman. It's time for the next layer of resin. I have some more easy casts and I'm going to pour it right on the snowman. The paint is all dry. Let it spread around, do its thing. All right, and on this one, I'm going to just pour it also, but slowly. I don't want it to overflow the banks. And this is just going to keep that ribbon in place, embedded in there. And that way, when you put a drink on it, it's not going to. Um, be uneven because of that ribbon. Then you let it sit for a minute or so, hit it with your lighter, pop bubbles as they rise to the surface, and then let them just cure. We've come this far with our present coaster, and I didn't get it perfectly straight, but that's okay. Um, this is the top and this is the bottom. The bottom is nice and neat. Okay, I have my Dremel tool and I have a very small bit on here and this is a 1 16th bit. I will never remember that in the future. I just had to buy a new one, so that's how I know. And I'm going to drill it right into the middle there on the top, what I said was the top. So you can't see the drill hole because it's behind um, the ribbon. It went in very nicely. So now I'm going to use some fine gold wire, and this is 20 gauge. I'm going to cut a piece off, and I'm going to take my ribbon, and I'm going to tie a bow, and I'm going to take the wire, and I'm going to wrap it around the center here. Kind of put it through the knot, and I'm going to loop it. And the hole is big enough to accommodate both pieces of wire, and then I'll twist it a little bit. So that is good. Now I'm going to take a little more of my super glue, and you can use any glue you want, right over the hole. Hopefully some of it will get in the hole. And then I'm going to take this end and put it in, press it down, and there's our present coaster. And the glue should help keep that ribbon in place, and you can also add just a dab to the ribbon so it doesn't untie either. And I'll have a link to this uh, mold where I got it in the description below. Here is the snowman in the snow. There he is. He looks pretty happy in his snowstorm. So here are the two coasters for today. They're nice and sparkly. And be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And which one you like better. Or maybe you just like them both. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the coasters and the way they turned out. I think they're pretty festive for the holiday. We gotta get to the fishbowl. Okay, it's time for the fishbowl. And because it's the holiday season, I think I'm gonna pick two. The first one is Becky Griffith's Reindeer in a Snowy Scene. Reindeer Silhouette, I'm sorry, Reindeer Silhouette. And the other one is Bobby Wheeler, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So those two are the ones that I'm gonna be doing for next week. And we have one more chance um, because the next coaster will actually be on Christmas Day. So we have one more chance for holiday coasters and then the one thereafter is going to be um, a recap of like a year in review of the coasters. So stay tuned for that. That's actually going to come up on um, New Year's Day. So this time I need you to still do a holiday or seasonal related ones. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate it when you share, comment, um, give me a thumbs up, all of that. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Happy crafting.